Good morning everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs of 4th of April. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app and you can get the current affairs in quiz format as well as easy digest format. Apart from that, for regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. The name of Telegram channel is GK Today YouTube and this is the link. You can directly join it by the name or using this link. The link is given in the description as well as in the pinned comment. Now let's start. The 70th anniversary of establishment of diplomatic relations between India and which country was celebrated on 1st of April? Right answer is China. So India and China have completed 70 years of diplomatic relationships. It is important to note that India was the first non-communist country in Asia to have diplomatic relations with PRC. PRC is People's Republic of China. And it is the official name of China. Now your homework is to find out what is the difference between PRC and ROC. ROC stands for Republic of China. Apart from that, 1st of April was also in news as India is now following BS6 norms from 1st of April. BS6 stands for Bharat stays 6. So these are emission norms for vehicles. Now China was also in news because of Wuhan. Wuhan is in China and the outbreak of coronavirus started from Wuhan. And recently NIC that is National Informatics Center in India launched an app for preventing the transmission of coronavirus. And the name of this app is Arogya Setu. This NIC is under Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. So this Arogya Setu will warn you if you are going to be near to a person who has been showing the symptoms of coronavirus. I have uploaded a special video on this topic. You can watch that. Apart from that recently, Ministry of Tourism also launched a portal stranded in India. So this portal was launched to assist the foreign tourists who are right now stranded in our country because of lockdown. So this portal provides information about the services that are available for these tourists in our country. The new rule of center for expanding domicile to 15 years of residence or 7 years of study has been made for which Indian state or Union territory. So it is for Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir. And as per the new rule, a person who has resided in Jammu and Kashmir for at least 15 years will be eligible to be a domicile of Union territory. Apart from that, a person who has studied for a period of 7 years and appeared in class 10 or class 12th examination in an educational institution based in the Union territory will also be eligible to be a domicile of Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir. Now, if we talk about Jammu and Kashmir, the state of Jammu and Kashmir was bifurcated into two Union territories and this was effective from 1st of October 2019. So, state was bifurcated into two Union territories. One is Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir. Another one is Ladakh. 31st of October is also important as on this day, National Unity Day is celebrated and it is the birth anniversary of Sardar Patel. Now recently Sardar Patel was in news as his statue that is statue of unity was included into the list of eight wonders of SCO. SCO stands for Shanghai Cooperation Organization and the headquarter of SCO is in Beijing. Now related to SCO there is a term R-A-T-S. Answer in comment box what is the full form of rats in the context of SCO. It is important to note that India and Pakistan became the full-fledged member of SCO in 2017 after Asthana summit. Now, the city of Asthana has been renamed as Noor Sultan. Answer in comment books, it is situated in which country? The NIA, that is National Investigation Agency, is to probe, that means to investigate, its first overseas case on the terrorist attack on a Gurudwara located in which country? So right answer is Afghanistan. So NIA is going to investigate the case of 
terrorist attack on a gurudwara in kabul in afghanistan now the capital of afghanistan is kabul and recently afghanistan was in news as mr ashraf ghani got re-elected as the president of afghanistan afghanistan was also in news because of us taliban peace deal taliban is a militant group of afghanistan and this deal was signed in doha doha is in qatar answer in comment box whether qatar share border boundary with iran or not now qatar was also in news as recently australia replaced qatar and became the largest exporter of lng and recently india's first lng bus service was started in kochi in kerala what is the name of first indigenous testing kit for covid-19 in india which was launched at pune so right answer is patho detect and it has been designed by my lab discovery this my lab discovery is a pune based institution and this my lab discovery is headed by meenal d phosle so the first indigenous kit indigenous means it has been developed in india itself so the first indigenous kit has been developed in a record time of 6 weeks usually developing such kit would take 3 to 4 months so now this my lab discovery is the first indian firm to get full approval to make and sell these covid-19 testing kits now if we talk about pune pune was also in news as 108th edition of indian science congress is going to be in pune in 2021 now if we talk about covid-19 to prevent the transmission of covid-19 prime minister announced 21 days lockdown and recently icici bank launched banking services on whatsapp during this lockdown period apart from that icici was also in news as recently bharat pay has partnered with icici lombard general insurance to launch india's first corona virus insurance cover and this is for merchants as per the recent notification of rbi what is the new deadline for exporters to realize their export proceeds for the exports made up to 31st of july right answer is 15 months the previous time limit was 9 months but because of this corona virus this time limit has been extended to 15 months apart from that rbi also increased wma limit for state governments and for union territories by 30% till 30th of september now what is this wma wma stands for ways and means advances now the government can avail the immediate cash from rbi if needed as per the provisions of wma but the government will have to return the amount within 90 days and the interest is charged as per existing repo rate now if it is beyond 90 days then higher amount of interest will have to be paid and there is a limit on the wma and now that limit has been increased by 30% in the context of this corona virus apart from that recently ministry of commerce announced changes in ftp ftp stands for foreign trade policy so these changes were announced because of this covid-19 actually this ftp was valid from 2015 to 31st of march 2020 but now due to corona virus the government has decided to extend this policy by one more year so now this foreign trade policy is going to be effective till 31st of march 2021 now in the context of foreign trade policy there is a body named dgft that is directorate general of foreign trade answer in comment box it is under which ministry what is the name of initiative of civil aviation ministry which aims to supply medical supplies across country so the name of initiative is lifeline udan and it is an initiative of ministry of civil aviation to supply medical supplies during lockdown period and the air carriers which are involved in this lifeline udan initiative are air india alliance air indian air force and pawan hans now 
If we talk about Ministry of Civil Aviation, it is the implementing authority of Krishi Udan scheme. The scheme was announced during recent budget and it is scheme for transporting the agricultural products. Apart from that, there is a scheme Udan. It is Ude Desh Ka Aam Nagrik and it is also implemented by Ministry of Civil Aviation. What is the theme of 2020 World Autism Awareness Day? So the theme is the transition to adulthood. So every year on second day of April, the World Autism Awareness Day is observed. And the theme of this year's World Autism Awareness Day is the transition to adulthood. This World Autism Awareness Day is observed by United Nations. And the Secretary General of United Nations is Mr. Antonio Guterres. Answer in comment box, how many languages have been given the status of official language of United Nations? What is the name of Nobel Prize winning physicist known for his work on magnetism and superconductivity who passed away recently? Right answer is Mr. Philip Anderson. So Mr. Philip Anderson passed away recently in USA and he was known for his work in the field of magnetism and superconductivity. As of April 2020, which country holds the presidency of United Nations Security Council? Right answer is Dominican Republic. It is important to note that the presidency of United Nations Security Council changes every month. So last month, China was the president. This month, that means in April, Dominican Republic is the president. And in UNSC, that is United Nations Security Council, there are 15 members out of which 5 are permanent and 10 are elected and these 5 are popularly known as P5 and these are US, UK, China, Russia and France. Now there is a group G4. G4 countries are Japan, Brazil, Germany and India. So these, so this G4 group demands the expansion of this United Nations Security Council in the context of permanent members. The government of India has recently set up cargo air bridge with which country to transport critical medical supplies? Right answer is China. So this air bridge uses regular cargo flights for transporting the critical medical supplies between India and China. And this initiative is operated by Air India from 3rd of April. And this is to be implemented under Lifeline Udan initiative and this is initiative of Ministry of Civil Aviation. So these were the important questions. Thank you. And that's all for the day.